bipartisan. A bipartisan group of senators, including our next guest, are visiting the southern border right now after President Biden's quick trip to El Paso that lasted three hours. Republican Senator James Langford joins us. Senator, uh, first off, what do you think the president got out of his trip? Uh, I think he got what they staged to be able to create. That is a moment to be able to go to NGOs and to be able to say, we need more money to be able to take care of these folks. And then he flies out. He did a quick walk down the wall and then uh, left out immediately. What he did not do is he didn't meet with the Border Patrol Union. You're talking the most pro-union president out there refused to meet with the union members that could actually tell him what were the real problems are. He didn't meet with the landowners in the area uh, that are saying, here's how we're being overrun. And he didn't get a chance to be able to meet with migrants. Uh, last night, we, we were meeting with migrants literally coming across the border. Uh, we were meeting with some of the city officials. We we're meeting with different individuals. We we're meeting with Border Patrol Union. They can all tell you how to be able to fix this. This was a staged event that he brought in on Sunday to say, look, I went. Right. But he's not actually going to try to say what needs to be fixed. It's like going to uh, the, the, the aftermath of a hurricane and going to the part of town that wasn't hit. Uh, but we move on. You have not done that. You've gone the other way. But I'm so encouraged that you have Democrats with you. Who's with you? What have you all seen? So it's a very good group, actually. We've got eight people that are here with us. We have Jerry Moran, uh, we have Chris Coons, uh, we have Chris Murphy, we have uh, Kirsten Cinema, John Cornyn, uh, Tom Tillis, uh, myself that's here. So it's a, it's a really good group that's here to be able to look at the different issues. We're having great conversations with Border Patrol union leaders, with different business leaders and community leaders. We were out last night on the border uh, to see the, the flood of people that are coming across, not only that are coming across, uh, literally climbing over the fence, but the way that they're actually doing it, because the Border Patrol is occupied with so many thousands of people, it leaves the border open for them to just be able to come across. So, you know, we have this thing with uh, parole now for five nations, but you even, this is like 120 nations have been represented, including yeah. last night, you tweeted out two pictures of Chinese nationals being arrested by mounted Border Patrol. What are they up to? Yeah. So we, yeah, we walked up as Mounted Patrol actually engaged with Chinese nationals that had climbed across the fence that were running through the bush uh, to be able to get into the main part of the city. There's a pretty short window in this particular area of, of El Paso that if Mounted Patrol and others don't encounter them, they're going to be right into a major city of El Paso and they'll just disappear. We don't know uh, what their means are and what, what they're trying to accomplish. They were literally at the border trying to be able to help communicate them. I looked at their passports. Their passports are Chinese passports. And uh, they're working their way into the United States. So th there's this belief at times that everyone's coming across as all poor people uh, from Central America fleeing poverty and violence. That's not true. We literally have people right. from all over the world that are coming. And at times, the Border Patrol, who are great men and women that are actually out there, they feel like they're TCU fighting against Georgia, uh, and they can't just seem to stop the offense that's coming because there's just so much coming at them. Right. I just hope if your Democrats are sincere, anything good that's come out, bipartisan has come out, has come from the Senate. So hopefully if you're, the people with you are sincere, you can get something done uh, to seal off that border. Finally, this kind of news since you've been down there, I don't know how much you have a chance to look at it. Last night, the GOJ uh, has uh, revealed that on November 2nd, uh, they, were they were alerted that the president, the president uh, when he was vice president, took documents and kept them in a closet, some of which have um, a small number of documents have classified markings on it. They've been torn, turned over to the National Archives now two months later. Your reaction to the former vice president, now president, taking these classified documents? Well, all that I could say is that uh, President Biden, uh, when he was talking about former President Trump having classified documents, he called it irresponsible and unbelievable uh, that someone would have these classified documents. Now, uh, we actually open up his closet door and look, there's classified documents that the vice president uh, has uh, had in his closet before he became president that they literally just scooped up. We'll see where this goes and see if it gets equal attention and see if they'll be arrayed at one of those other houses uh, to see if there's anything more. Uh, Senator, so glad you're there. I look forward to talking to you when you get back. Thank you. You bet. Let's get this fixed. Okay, absolutely. Senator James Langford. Meanwhile.